Uh, our grade for social distancing has dropped quite a bit. Yeah, so this we've talked about this before. It's using that cell phone data, this company Unicast. So at first, back in March, when yeah. this first started, we got an A because we were staying home and limiting contact with others. We're well, the now, best. yes, now we've dropped to the D. Uh, and Unicast is telling us that most of the rule breakers are right around the Twin Cities. All right, so we had a, did we, is this like when my kids had an A because they did the first assignment right and then it went in the tank after that? Like, how long did we have an A? <laughs> So it, this Unicast, it looks at us kind of every week. So it's kind of bopped up and down. We so had we, an A and not then Not for long, though. No, we weren't we that didn't. great. No. We and just it, remember we, the A. No, right? We've kind of bopped around in yeah. the CD right. range for a while now over the past month or so. And most of the other states are in the, about the same boat as us, right? Right. And so how meaningful yeah. is this, then, if every state is getting a D or a C minus? Right. Then so what? Then then how is this useful in any way? So it's one one data point that you can look at, right? So you're looking at cell phone data and you're looking at the essential trips that people are taking because you know the cell phones track where our locations. Right. So how far are we traveling from our house? What kind of essential trips are we taking? What are those essential trips? Uh, right. Could we come into contact with other people? So it, you know, it, I don't know. So it's I reached one out. Point here. I reached out to the company. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. you know. I you was like hurt. I yes. wanted to defend our honor. Mm -hmm. And they said that their grades are based on what a full shutdown would entail. So to get an A, you would have to have a 70% reduction in movement from kind of pre-COVID levels, normal mm -hmm. levels. Um, and that would be a full shutdown. Minnesota is still allowing for essential trips, essential workers. Right. So just by doing what we're being right. asked mm -hmm. to do, would still be like a C or a D mm -hmm. compared to a full but shutdown. I do, but, but Riley, I wonder here, besides that, whether or not this is a good measure, I'm wondering if you see more people really just kind of getting tired of this and maybe sort of having a little flexibility on the, on the social distancing these days compared to where we were in March. <laughs> Well, I, I will have to say this. I, I will I will mention not mention names uh, though, but yes, um, several people that I, I do know um, have said, you know what? I have I have kind of broke it, broke the the social distancing thing a little bit, um, and they've traveled a, a, a few places with their immediate family. Um, the, you know, it, it, this is hard because I would say I'm pr I'm a guy that's probably following these rules much, much more. Mm -hmm. um, I've made maybe two or three essential trips to the grocery store, and that's really it. Right. The kids and I will go in the car because to, and drive around, but we just drive around the blocks and, you know, just in the neighborhoods just to get out because they love car rides, but that's really all I do. But, you know, I think people are, I mean... You know they they are yeah. they're getting tired getting of it tired and they are it, probably like. breaking the rules and the weather and and breaking Riley, the rules right. a little and bit and there you go yeah. and then and then the weather also plays an impact so uh, as it gets warmer more people are outside.